Hello, greetings. Today it's about the Ethernet port or who has a MESA card with Ethernet connection. Then this MESA card theoretically blocks the only one. LAN port on the PC and now the question comes up again and again, okay, how can you still supply the PC with internet? Sure, you can use a Wi-Fi module. You can take a Wi-Fi stick or Wi-Fi is already built in and I can use that. But there is another possibility and that is also what I am dealing with today. Because that's what a lot of people have noticed. I'll show you. A USB to Ethernet port and here another USB hub. And I'll show you how to set it up. Do I have another order for one? Another cost. Between 10 and 30 euros. I'll say it now. We'll try out the other one right away. If that is possible and then we would at least have two types. That work with the current Linux image. But we're checking. Now I can hardly take the picture because of that. I'll try that with an extra camera. I'll switch times, so we see the Mesa map here. A 7i96s and here I have my USB to Ethernet port. Of course, the Mesa can't get to it. But that's where our internet comes in. That's what I've got here so I've got an Ethernet cable here. The one longer. I have an Ethernet cable here, which I kind of connect to my home network. Yes, and with that we're trying to make this PC internet enabled. Yes, as I said, normally we only have one LAN interface on our PCs. But that's why we can bring in the internet via USB. In my opinion, Wi-Fi would be dispensed with now. I'd like OK. I'll turn on the device. That's going to complain now, because there's no keyboard mouse on it. Normally, I also have my receivers for the mouse and keyboard on it. I'll just put it here on the side now. And let's turn on the PC. So I usually have my connections up here. That I can use. And we already see an internet connection here. But that's not possible at the moment. Because the adapter isn't even there. Let's go inside. That was the adapter. That's the USB adapter. I'll delete them. Now I only have one connection, that's the MESA. It is also active, which means that I can ping the MESA too. Ping, 1010 1010 so the MESA card answers. I'll break it off and now I'll try it here in. Internet. We'll take a look at whether YouTube works here. No, that's not possible, that means we don't have any internet on this computer. That means we don't get any updates. Can't install packages. We can't really do anything. And now I would theoretically have to unplug the Ethernet connection from the Mesa card and my Ethernet connection from the router. Plug in. But we don't do that. But. I now connect my Mylon home network here and look for a free USB port. Plug that in. And now we can already see that up here a cable is connected, a connection or a cable connection is made. So, I can edit them now. That is, I'm going to edit connection here. Call them the internet here. Underscore one for the other adapters I will also just plug in parallel to it. So, we have a device here. We see, it's the same as down here. So an X. FB at the end here had the MAC address I'll save. And say separate here. Reconnect. 
we can also right click here at the top of the network icon and get the network information. Then we can see that on the one hand the MESA has a fixed IP configuration and the internet automatically gets an IP via the THCP from the router. Assigned, therefore. Should the PC have internet now? We'll see. Go on. Misona.com so this works. You see. We have an internet connection. If I now. Swirl down again. If I subtract the whole thing from here. Then I should be out of touch. That is, I'll press refresh. And we can already see that up here. The whole thing. It's just at the store and we don't get any. Internet connection now like this. I'll plug that in again. See how quickly it can be done. So try again like this. So we just got an Ethernet port here via this USB to Ethernet port end. From that. Can I use any PC that doesn't have an additional interface now? Actually provided with a LAN port? As I said, I wouldn't do any time critical things about it. But rather just feed the internet into the PC and... I pan down again. Let's open this one. And here we do exactly the same thing. So it also has additional USB ports. Here's an Ethernet port, and I'm looking for the next free one. Connection. Find me the nearest free connection. Unplug the cable from the first adapter again. Close the browser as well. We'll take another look here. Edit connection. We'll see if we have another device. We have another device, and this time here Anks we can now remember. Anks would then be the USB adapter. And one ends with FB, the other with F. Attention so, I'll choose the F8 statement here. Internet. Save. I'll plug in the cable. I'm going to put it in this red. Plugged. I look up quickly. I can already see up here it has been short. Change the status you are now connected to internet too. This means that this adapter also works without any intervention. So I can hear. Insert these adapters without any problems. Simply from USB on. Oh. Ethernet, as I said. I'm happy to use then. I'll switch again here. I like to use. In these cases. USB to Ethernet port I like to use these additional USB ports for my transreceive or receiver for these. Keyboard mouse story so we'll see. This one works. And this one works. And I'm assuming that actually all adapters. The ones you can buy between 10 and 30 euro I say can make a Linux computer internet capable without any problems or or. An additional LAN port. To get an additional LAN port. We recently had the topic in our Discord under. Was there also the hint? If you work with this cut now. This cut probably also works via USB to Ethernet port. For testing purposes, so if you just want to test ISA card for test purposes, you can do that there too. But basically, I would recommend.
to do these time-sensitive things on LAN ports, which are directly connected to the bus system in the PC, i.e. in the PCI bus and not via USB. Perfect for internet stories. So you see, I have two adapters. I can also show you the exact types right here and... As I said, I'm assuming that 99% of the adapters here run in the Linux image. Accordingly, you can save yourself the Wi-Fi or if you don't have Wi-Fi. You can easily get the internet into your PC despite using a Mesa card. That makes sense, because at the end of the day I can make updates. I can install packages. I can quickly use the Linux CNC help I can act. I can transfer files quickly. So if I now use my G code in another system, for example, then I can simply push it onto it, or on the Linux CNC computer I can access a network folder and simply pick up the data there because of it. From my point of view, it makes sense. That. A Linux computer as well. Access to network gets internet, yes. You can argue, but on network folders. That's a fine thing. Then I don't drag it out any longer. I say. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell. So you don't miss the next video. If you want to continue supporting me. In addition, you are welcome to do this on Patreon and then I say goodbye until the next video.